Hey guys, it's Princess Greedo back again with another Dolly Mail haul. And I'm here with Tiffany. She's awake this time, not being as lazy. <laughs> so, um, let's get started. Um, this package came from eBay. Let me get the other package. And this one is from Mercari. Wait. No, not for Kari. They're both from eBay. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. I really gotta find my, um, box cutter, because this is really impractical. Struggling to get this open right now, as you can see. So it was supposed to be delivered today, but it said I had to go all the way to the post office and pick it up. You know, that's just USPS at its finest. So, that I'm just really, really happy to have this package. Uh, I won it on an auction on eBay. And, um,. You know, I know how these eBay games and au auctions work because, uh, let me tell you, so I was bidding, uh, the doll started off at $36, I believe, well not $36, it started off at like $30 and then it only had like a few hours left and I had uh, outbid this person of $36 and they didn't put in another one and they wanted me to believe that you know they were they had given up or something but I know I know somebody's always watching you they're called snipers on eBay and um you just gotta steady watch out for them like at the last few moments of my auction um I made sure I increased Baby, get out of the way. You're blocking the light. <laughs> Let me move her. Um, yeah, so I increased my maximum bid to 40. And, you know, because I knew at the last few seconds of that auction. <sighs> this is a really hard box to open, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... I knew somebody was going to try and snipe me, so, and they did not win either, because I knew how to play that game, you know, finally, and they tried to increase their maximum bid of $38, but your girl was always ahead of the game and put in 40 you know, just be safe. And that's how you win a eBay auction. So, you guess what it is? I bet not. But, um, wow, she's really tall. She is, the, the user said that she hasn't been used or whatever. But, um, I guess she was opened or whatever. But she's still, hopefully, in really good condition. Baby, you're in my way. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is Maudlin. So cute. She is a Tonner doll. Maudlin Macabre. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not sure if you can read that or not, but let's unbox her. Totally keeping this box as well because I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. And a collector, of course, so. She's so beautiful, oh my god. Here she is. Get closer. Okay. 
take her out of her bubble wrap. Hey, honey. Welcome home. Aw, she's so cute. So, between this doll and another one off of Mercari. Another Tonner doll. She was the Alice Tonner doll. And, um, she's just so freaking adorable. Oh, my God. fix her hair a little bit, gotta comb it, but so she has on this burgundy like Wednesday Adams type of dress y'all like ooh and she has a nice little um not waist but chest pivot and she has on these like mesh like what are they like navy blue type of gloves to match her tight she has on y'all oh my god she's so cute and her little rubber like what do you call it mary james or whatever i love dolls who have these type of um shoes on they're so cute to me they're like little baby doll shoes little girl shoes and I like this really weird rubbery texture. And she has a bow and of course her matching burgundy hair band. And she has these beautiful purple eyes. And this long beautiful black hair. I love dolls with black hair y'all. Like, my favorite doll hair colors are probably blonde and black. Not even gonna lie. Don't really like brown, brown hair dolls all that much, but yes, y'all. She's just so gorgeous. And she has a nice little weight to her, you know? She's very, like, um articulated at the elbows not at the wrist but at the shoulders the head I think twist her back and forth not really up and down and the chest pivot and then she bends at the legs at the knees and um she can open her legs about that far. She is so cute, you guys. I love her. I'm so happy I got her. Oh my goodness. I don't know about the other, um, the Alice Tonner doll, but my cat's trying to catch my doll. Because the seller, I don't know what happened to him, but he's no longer available and can't find that doll on eBay anymore. She just she was so beautiful as well, but I'm really happy to have Madeline. She's just gorgeous. I Ooh. Okay. So we have another package from eBay. Um this is so cute. Look at my little pony stick. Ooh. <laughs> I always forget to take the freaking thing off. Let me just mark it off right quick and show you guys. Okay. Look at the, um, uh, my little pony stickers. Aren't they cute? So, oh, they packaged it so nice. Look at that. Okay, might keep this pink little ribbon. That's really cute. It's just a wouldn't say vintage, but I guess you can kind of say vintage. And my cat's chewing on the string that I was gonna keep, but. 
This doll is so beautiful, you guys. I'm not sure what line she's from, actually, but it's a beautiful Chloe doll. Beautiful, beautiful. And she comes with this beautiful blue bow. And this beautiful blue, baby blue dress with this black ribbon trim. And these really fluffy, like, bedtime slippers. And if you know what line she's from, let me know. I'm really trying to get back into, like, collecting brats. Especially the older ones, not the newer ones that much. I still like the newer ones, but... I'm really excited for the upcoming brats that they're supposed to be making for 2018. So, and she has this long, beautiful ponytail. And I just hate myself for selling most of my brats dolls, but I'm still grateful to have the ones that I decided to keep. So yeah, you guys, that's it for my dolly haul today. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye!